Ladies and gentlemen, very delighted to be here. Uh, indeed, I feel very honored and very privileged to be uh, having this opportunity to uh, be heading uh, India's most eminent university. Uh, I don't need to tell you anything about the university. You know this 100 times better than I do. But it is certainly a very, very special uh, privilege for me to be here. Now, before I start to talk about uh, what I think about BHU, let me tell you a little bit about uh, my own journey, where I went and how I reached here and how, what shaped my thinking. Uh, I'm a small town boy, lived in very, very small towns of UP, went to perhaps six or seven schools up to class 12. My father was transferred every year or two years. Uh, went to Rudki, which was a 2000 student college, uh, studied there, uh, didn't know enough English. When I appeared for my visa interview at uh, American Embassy, I couldn't understand half of the questions that she was asking. Never watched English movies, uh, uh, had very poor English. Uh, I did hear word congratulations, which meant that she was going to give me this visa. <laughs> went to Caltech, that was the only university I had applied to because I had, did not have my TOEFL, I did not have my GRE. And Caltech was the only university amongst better universities that would not ask $30 or $25 of application fee at the time. Uh, I did not have uh, uh, wealth to support $25 type of fee. I went to Caltech. I was a very odd man out because practically every year four, five, or six students would come from India. All of them would be IITians. I was the only non-IITian there. And I had a big handicap, did not know English. I had, had no idea about the English movies and about the English novels. Uh, so, finished my master's, finished my PhD, never thought about staying in the United States, wanted to come back to India. I wrote for jobs. In those days, the bureaucracies were very simple. I just wrote a letter and attached a three-page resume, and I sent it to all the IITs, ISC Bangalore, Birla Institute. I wrote it to many, many companies. I wanted to come to India. I wanted to be a teacher. When I went, when I went to Rudki at the age of 16, during we used to have ragging at the time, and I used to be asked, "Kya karoge?" And at the age of 16, I said, "Structural Engineering mein PhD karke Rudki mein padhayenge." Uh, that was the mission in life at the age of 16. When I went to uh, look for a job, I was very clear I only wanted to work at Rudki, nowhere else. But one never knows, as a structural engineer, we work with safety margin. We don't want this roof to collapse. So we keep some safety margins. So I had to apply to many places, knowing fully well that Rudki jana hai. I have a very dear friend who is a BHU graduate, whose father was a BHU professor, who was at Caltech, and he said, Tumko Rudki se itni mohabbat hai, tum Rudki nahi jaoge, asa mujhe lagta hai. <laughs> and I hated him for saying that. How could he do that to me? Uh, how could he? And it turned out to be true because I came back to uh, India. I had a job offer from Rudki. I had a job offer from Kanpur, Bombay, Madras, ISC Bangalore. I gave my joining report to my head of the department at Rudki and said, Sir, ek mahine ka chutti chahiye. <laughs> Sir, tu abhi joining report diya, ek mahine ka chutti kyao chahiye? I said, oh, sir, ye job offer hai na, sab desh mein ghoom ke dekhna chata hoon, Hindustan ka mohal kya hai? So he returned back my joining report, he said, pehle ghoom ke hao, uske ha join kuro. I can't give you chutti for one month when you have joined today. I said, all right, I'll do it, but aap meri naukri to nahi le loge ek mahine mein, kyunki wo expiry thi kuch uski. He said, nahin, don't worry, naukri rahi thi. So I went to Bharat Darshan, and I fell in love with Kanpur IIT, right? It was an American uh, environment where a young faculty could uh, speak, young people were encouraged, and the whole atmosphere was very, very collegial. Uh, compared to Rudki, which was a British, old, very British system where, you know, you have to get up when senior person comes into the room.